Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, make a reflective button in Illustrator. So, uh, what I've done is I've, I've quickly made this vector of an RSS feed button. I'll zoom in on that just so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, so I have this button that I made. And it is, like I said, a vector. It doesn't have to be, but I made this one real quick. Um, and so, what you, the first thing that you do is you can copy this. So I'm going to do Control C and Control V to make a copy. Uh, Command C and Command V on a Mac, or Apple C, Apple V. Okay. The next thing that you want to do is flip this vertically, and you can do this by going to Object, Transform, and Reflect. You have Vertical selected. Okay, and then what you'll want to do is hover, hover over one of these corners, hold down the shift key, and drag it around until it's where you want it. As you can see, they match up correctly like a reflection would now. And I'm going to move this so that it's right up against that bottom edge of the top button. Okay, so now you have something that looks kind of like this. Now you want to select this bottom reflection. And you can see that in your transparency panel down here, um, which if, if it's not up, go to Window, and then to Transparency, down here, and you click on that and open up that transparency panel. And what you'll do is you'll double click on this blank area here and it creates a clipping mask. And uh, to show your button, your, your uh, reflection, you want to have uh, you need you draw a box, just a white box, over the area that you ma you masked. But make sure that this mask is selected when you do this. Okay, the next thing that you want to do is uh, make this look more like a reflection. So what you need to do is go to your gradient. That can also be found under window, but it should be connected to your transparency panel. And you'll select the gradient, and you can do that just by clicking into the gradient area. You can see that kind of, uh, it, it puts a gradient on that mask and, re and reveals a little bit less of the object that's being masked. So what you now what you'll do is you'll take your uh, gradient adjustment tool and you'll just kind of play around with it until it looks pretty good. Uh, I'll just make a selection here, kind of go like this, make a real subtle reflection. Something kind of like that, probably. Okay, uh, and then you have your reflection. And uh, now from here you would take your uh, button and you could uh, save this as uh, web ready out of Illustrator or uh, you could take it into Photoshop and save it from there, either way. But uh, it'll be ready to use on your site. Okay, uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Uh, please feel free to comment or like or dislike this video, um, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.